What is up, gamers and aliens? It is me, Dan, moderately non MSMTG, and we are back with another episode of the greatest CDH channel in the multiverse. I have got an absolutely all star cast for you today. We've got Dylan from Play to Win, our buddy Adam from Casually Competitive, and the one and only Tad from the Buff Town Bullies is here with us today. Really quickly, before we hop into the deck text, if you enjoy this program, the best thing you can do to show your support is to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe on this video. It is super helpful for getting us out in the algorithm, pushing us to new eyes and new audience members. If you want to support the show more directly, go hit up our Patreon. Our patrons are directly responsible for keeping the lights on in my house and keeping things moving here on the channel. Thank y'all so much for being patrons, every single one of you. You are the absolute lifeblood of this channel. If you want to go pick up some awesome merch, you can support great artists like Tim Gold Sabretooth, go hit up our bonfire store. And of course, as always, this episode is brought to you by TCG Player and Dragon Shield. Go use our affiliate links down in the description if you see some cool cards you want to pick up or if you need some awesome sleeves to put them in. And without further ado, let's hop into the deck techs. First up is Dylan playing Tim of the Weaver and Jessica Thrice Reborn. This is a mid-range ad nauseum strategy, looking to close out the game by making infinite mana and looping Jessica infinite times for infinite damage. Next up is Mod playing Tim of the Weaver and Ton of the Bloodsower. This is a Sans Blue Storm deck looking to lock down the table with silence effects and close out the game with Dualcaster Twin Flame combo or with Witherbloom Apprentice. In third is Adam playing Nath of the Guilt Leaf. This is a Stax Elf Ball deck looking to lock down the board and close out the game with combat damage. And in last is Tab playing Tim Necrom Blue Farm. This is a mid-range control deck using Intuition as a one-card win con to set up Underworld Breach wins. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. Yeah, is everybody good? No. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, good. Thank you, Tad. Tad is going to get a good hand because he's playing a good deck, so whatever. Um, I'm currently on four, right? So, I don't know so you're going to have a turn one risk study is what you're telling me. <laughs> uh, I mean, that'd be ideal, but it probably not. Oh, my God. This is terrible, but okay. <laughs> is it two or three? It's three. <laughs> okay. All right. Everyone ready? Yeah, I'm good oh to go. Boy. Everyone else is. Cool. Yeah, pre-games? Nothing? Nothing for me. Nothing. Tad, obviously. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hold on. No. <laughs> All right. I will start us off. Now, I'll draw a card. I'm going to play Mana Confluence. I'm going to cast Mox Diamond. The Mox Diamond, I will discard this Badlands. Tap the Mox Diamond for a Mana Vault. And I'll lose a life, go to 39, and tap this for a Smothering Tide. Ugh. Hey. Oh, that's wow. Awesome. Oh, man. Awesome. Dylan just won this game in three <laughs> turns from now. This sucks. Fun. I top deck this. That was great. Oh, no. That's such a good top deck. <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa, I do something different. It's crazy. Okay. Cool. Smothering Tide, okay? Everyone oh my good? god, big time. Yep. Sweet. I'm glad the blue deck mulligan so much. Pastor. <laughs> I was going to say, Tad, you got four some blue card in hand. Let's see it. I'm going to go ahead and draw... Oh man, I don't even know what I could draw that would be as good as that, but I can tell you that what I draw was significantly worse, actually. Smothering Tide? No. Oh, my card was significantly worse than Smothering Tide, yes. Oh, Smothering okay. Tide trigger, you mean. Oh, I have a trigger, yeah. You can have <laughs> it. Okay. Okay, no, nice. never. <laughs> I will never be paying that, I think, in this game. I'm going to play a Sacred Foundry tapped, and I'm going to pass. All right. I'm going to draw and regret my choices for keeping this hand now. I really wish I could pay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just going to also play a tap land. I'm going to play this Turn Timber Symbiosis tapped, and I will also pass turn. You're off. Not paying. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm going to play this Command Tower. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna play this lion's eye diamond. I'm gonna play Timna. Cool. More smothering tides down the road. I'll pass. I'll lose a life from Mana Vault and draw card. Let's tap the Mox Diamond for Sarah Ascendant. Oof, rough. Well <laughs> done. Um, <laughs> lose a life from the Mana Confluence and sack a treasure for Oswald Fiddlebender. Cool. Fun, oh fun to say. Um, and then I will sack these last two remaining treasures for a Wishclaw Talisman. I feel like wow. you got a lot of stuff going on That's over some there. powerful <laughs> magic, my friend. It feels crazy. <laughs> I feel like you're crazy playing this deck sometimes. It makes sense um, that you're only playing 23 lands now, though. Look at all yeah, the things you play. Else. I'm going to miss my second land drop, though, see? that Because the 23 lands, it's bad. Pass turn. <laughs> I will not be paying for Smothering Tithe, actually. I will not exile a Simeon Spirit Guide from my hand by surprise. <laughs> Let's... Oh, boy. What in the fucking world? <laughs> oh no. I don't know why I'm hemming and hawing. I'm just gonna lose. I'm just gonna play cards quickly and lose. Uh, Plateau is my land for I'll cast a loyal apprentice. That'll save us. Thank you. I'm going to go to combat 
and I'm going to hit Adam for two. Wow. Mm -hmm. You just don't like math that much. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Who else am I going to attack? Attack me. I'm obviously the threat, right? <laughs> that gigantic you, gotta, man. you gotta stop him. <laughs> no, the man's too big. Uh, I'm just going to let Dylan win the game. I'm going to king make Dylan. Pass turn. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna draw a god draw, right? No, that's 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 a card. Smothering guy, the trigger. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. I regret not playing blue so much right now. <laughs> I regret putting the my break trap on the bottom. <laughs> I regret not top decking a land so that I have to play this Besage you because it would be super cool to not have to play that right now. Mm -hmm. Play a priest of Titania, and then I will pass. On tap, upkeep, draw. There you go, Dan. My hubris, thirty-eight. Eighty two. Hitting my trigger. Oh nice. Smothering that trigger. Oh yeah, go for it. <laughs> nice. Alright, pass the turn. Uh, untap. Upkeep. I will lose a life from Mana Vault. Go to thirty six and draw card. Yeah, there's a lot of options, but I don't think any of them win just yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. The cost of both of my commanders is not convenient. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you know? <laughs> One, two, three. I'm going to cast Timna. Go to combat. Yep. Um, yeah, Dan, thanks for having me on the show. I'll attack you with Terrace. <laughs> you got it. 32. Uh, I'll gain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then lose one in my second main and draw a card. Lose life with mana confluence. Go down to 40. Sack of treasure for white and cast Grand Abolisher. And activate Oswald Fiddlebender using the white here, sacrificing the mana vault, looking for a two drop. I'll get, I'll find a Grim Monolith and then I'll pass my turn. I will untap, upkeep, and draw a card. Smothering Tithe. You can pay this time if you want. Oh my gosh, you're so correct, and I will actually continue to not do that. As crazy as it sounds. <laughs> um, let's play a Gemstone Mine. Come in with three counters on it, and I'm going to give Dylan a little old Black Lotus on this turn by casting my own Timna. I would like to go to combat. Loyal Apprentice will trigger, and I will make a Flying Thopter with haste. I will go to combat and swing at Adam in the air. Ah, I guess I'll swing at Dylan in the air for one. And we'll go Loyal Apprentice at Tad for two. Sure. I'll take one. I will pay two, draw two, and Dylan can make two treasures from Smothering Tithe. Wow. Well, the good news is I drew a card that's going to save me from dying without this Mana Crypt on the board. <laughs> And then <laughs> I'll cast an Arcane Signet. Yep. And cast this Mox Opal. That is going to be the extent of my turn. I will pass. I'll untap, draw, not pay for that Smothering Tithe. And Jessica kind of makes my life sad, doesn't she? Well, Dylan winning the game with Tyranny of the Abyss is what's going to make you really sad. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just go two and cast a Survival of the Fittest. And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Draw. Oh, good. Another card I can't play. Go to combat. Better not be uh, me. I'll trade it. <laughs> uh, I'll call. Let's see if I call your bluff. There you go, Dan. No, I don't care about it. anything that happens. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. 30. Trigger. Draw I was card. bluffing. I'll make a treasure. Yep. Still can't cast that card. Pass the turn. All right. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna first off activate the Wish Claw Talisman with one of these colors mana from the Grim Monolith. Me, me, me. Tad. Give it to you. I've been uh, screwed before when I get Bullets to Citadel because I'm like, oh, I'm 23 lands. Get Bullets to Citadel. Wrong. Just get here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Losing life off Mana Confluence. Uh, appear into the Abyss onto the stack. 14. 14 out of 98. 74. What's half of 74? 37. 37. 30, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's healthy. I haven't resolved peer in so long. It's so much fun to do peer math and then draw that many cards. Thirty-seven, you said. So I lose nineteen, and then I look at this big old stack of cards and see if I can <laughs> push together a win. Okay, here's an underworld breach. Here's some fast mana. That was very what? gross the way you phrased that. <laughs> what? Very it was gross. Gross. Yes. Not a fan of what the words that you said. <laughs> Cast a chromox. With the chromox, I pitch. Billis, don't need that one anymore. Uh, with that, I will cast Dark Ritual. Make three black man. Mm -hmm. Cast in Entomb. I'll sack a treasure for this Valderan Epicure, which deals one damage to each opponent, and I create a blood token when it enters the battlefield. Then I'm going to cast Dance of the Dead with the two black mana on the World Gorger Dragon. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. I will present a loop. 
Yeah. Yep. We did. He's looping. Nice. And ping everyone to death. That was great. And by great, I mean that was a demoralizing <laughs> defeat to uh, that smothering tithe. Holy cow. All right, there it is. Really awesome game. Congrats, Dylan, on that one. Although, congrats to me a little bit, because I was like Nostradamus with that. Knew that the game was going to end on turn four. Knew that it was going to end with appear into the abyss. I don't know how, because that was the first game of the night, but I, I don't know. I guess I just had a feeling. Saw it in my third eye. Well, big shout outs to our guests. This was a super, super fun game. If you want to find Adam, Dylan, and Tad, I'm going to put links for all of them down in the video description. And thank you so much for coming and watching the show today. I appreciate y'all so much. Again, if you want to support the show, please Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's so helpful. One more shout out to my patrons. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, everybody. Be good to yourselves. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, one of the best ways to support us is by leaving a comment and hitting that like and subscribe button. It's incredibly helpful and always appreciated. If you want to support the channel more directly, join our Patreon to catch episodes early, join our private Discord, and get some other awesome benefits. One final thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. And thank you for watching. Be good to yourself, everyone.